John Conley and Oscar Wilde. About a rather unusual young man, 13-year-old Jeff Nichols has much in common with other children his age, but what makes this gentleman unique is a heart condition. He's been through one major operation. He faces several others. But in the meantime, he's become something of a celebrity down in Fort Bend County, as Stephen Govain tells us. And now I introduce to you Jack Nichols. Well, guys, most of you would want to be on the speaking tour, too, if you had someone this beautiful introduce you. <laughs> Jeff Nichols has quickly developed a reputation as a public speaker who easily gets the attention of his audience. He does it with talent, and he does it with comedy. Three weeks ago, I received a letter. It said, I quote, Don't give up. There's a place in the world for little boys. I know that you can make it, because I did. It was from Dan Quayle. <laughs> the day before yesterday, a card came in the mail and said, If you see something you want, go for it. Be aggressive. Don't give up. Die hard. Saddam Hussein. <laughs> at home, this seventh grader at Quail Valley Middle School has typical interests. His physical activities are limited because he doesn't have the main blood vessel that carries blood from his heart to his lungs. Smaller blood vessels have to do the work. One has closed, others are beginning to close. Doctors want to do a single lung transplant in about three to four years if some new research doesn't come along first. A lot of times I'll play ping pong, running back and forth on side, and get tired doing that, and sometimes you just have to sit down and do something, like play Nintendo and play board games, or just rest for a while. Through contacts, Jeff made one speech, then another. This is his third appearance, and he's got four more on his calendar. And some people have sent a tape of him to The Tonight Show in Hollywood. I've always liked ABC better. <laughs> <laughs> because Channel 13 has my two favorite comedy shows, America's Funniest Home Videos and Marvin Zindler. <laughs> but Jeff doesn't just reach his audience with comedy. He also has a deep message. Because of your potential involvement in the American Heart Association, we were destined to meet. Jeff's own topic for this speech is based on the field of dreams. So I want to thank you for what you are doing and what you're building. Because of what you're building, myself and a thousand more like me are able to come to our field of dreams. And the quiet little voice that you hear today says to you, if you will continue to build it, then we will come. In Fort Bend County, Stephen Govain, 13 Eyewitness News. What a wonderful oh, young man. Isn't that absolutely something? fabulous. We wish him the very best. Absolutely. And a great public speaker. Great yeah. jokes. I was writing great a lot of them down. And <laughs> I don't know if it's Marvin amazing. laughed at that one. We thought I that think was pretty he did. funny. Marvin's not too big to laugh at himself. <laughs> well, when we come back, yes, you know all of